So if you're smart enough, fast enough, and if you've got the guts, you can win Ben Stein's money. don't bring me flowers. Yes, I do. You don't sing me love songs. <laughs> You've got to win a little. So I do sing you love songs. Thanks. So I guess we can go on with the show. So I'm going to put $5,000 of my money on the line and give these three totally strange fans a chance to win it all the way for if, but only if they can beat me at my own game. Now, before we go any further, I must introduce the Barbara Streisand to my Jimmy Brolin, the one and only Jimmy Kimmel. All right. Thank you so much, Ben, our first contestant. Aren't you happy being called Barbara Streisand? Yes, uh, there's nothing better. You could have been at least Neil Diamond, you know? Uh, Nancy Mangle is our first contestant. She's a housewife. She's a full-time mother, and she's a tiny little person. Thank well, you. How tall only, are you, Nancy? Only physically. How I'm tall are you, Nancy? Almost 5'2". You could right. bathe in a big gulp. Thank you. I often do. You, you could drown in a super big gulp. Be careful is what I'm trying to tell you. All right. And uh, Anthony Walker is here from Victorville, California. Gateway to Barstow. I ate at the Denny's there once. <laughs> yeah. No comment. What do you do in Victorville? I'm a bank teller and I sell men's clothing. Oh, really? Both? At the yeah. same time? Like, <laughs> withdraw some cash and get a pair of trousers? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, Anthony. This is going well so far, Ben. <laughs> Wait till uh, you get to Gila, because she's red hot. She's going to blow you right out of the Gila room. Gila Rittenhouse is from Yellow Springs, Ohio. Ha-ha! <laughs> from Yellow Springs, Ohio. Take <laughs> that, I, your wise I think guy. I ate at a Denny's there, too. <laughs> and uh, you're a writer and editor. And Gila says that our set looks like her house. I have many objets de junk do you in have, my house. Um, do you have five um, TV monitors in, like, your living room? Or? Not in one place. No, do you have these cameras, too? I don't, but I have... Um, so, Gila, in fact, your house looks nothing like our set, does it? Uh, okay, I lied. All right. <laughs> oh, see? She's funny. <laughs> you okay, needed the mouth. Good luck. You're going to need it. Now, everyone, please turn your attention to our game board as Jimbo tells us our first five topics. And they are things that don't grow during sex. <laughs> You're sulking in it right now. The road to hell is paved with good vibrations. I don't give a rat's mouth. And the first use of presidential knee pads. Okay. Now, gang. In the first round, questions are worth anywhere from $50 to $150 of my money. Every time you manage to answer a question correctly, you win money and I lose it. We're going to start with you. Nancy, please pick a topic. I'll go with I don't give a rat's mouth. $100 question. What Florida city's name translates as rat's mouth in Spanish? Gila or Gila? Gila. <laughs> Tallahassee? No, I'm sorry. Anthony. Boca Raton. Exactly. Boca Raton. Very good. Now, Anthony. Anthony, because you got that right, that means you get first crack at a follow-up for $50. Established in 1565, what Florida city is the oldest permanent European settlement in the U.S.? St. Augustine. Very good, Anthony. Very good. It also has the oldest permanent people. Our next category is the slaves and chains stay mainly on the train, and Anthony has control of the board. I'll take the slaves and chains, stay mainly on the train. $150 question. Born to slave parents in 1820, what legendary female figure helped more than 300 slaves escape to freedom on the Underground Railroad? Anthony. Harriet Tubman. Very good, Anthony. Very good. $50 follow-up, Anthony. Harriet Tubman was an associate of the abolitionist who led the raid on Harper's Ferry. Please name him. Frederick Douglass? No, I'm sorry. Gila. John Brown? John Brown, indeed. <laughs> All right. Nice our, try, Anthony. Our next category is another coup brick in the wall. And Gila, you get to choose. Gila. The road to hell is paved with good intent. Vibrations. $150 question. Named for its Russian inventor, 
What weird sounding electronic instrument was heard on the Beach Boys' Good Vibrations? Gila. A Moog synthesizer. No, I'm sorry. Anthony. Tesla coil. No, I'm sorry. Nancy. Banjo. No. Nancy is so cute. <laughs> oh. No, a theremin. A theremin. A $50 toss up. Sharing its title with one of the Beach Boys' classic songs. What is the title of Brian Wilson's autobiography? Anthony. Good vibrations. No. It's a little late, Gila. It's called I'm Not As Nutty As I Look. No, it's called Wouldn't It Be Nice? I was just kidding. Now, before I lose any more cash, it's time to take a break, and we'll be back to see how much more money these ghouls can take away from me right after this. With more of when my Ben Stein's money. Right now, Anthony of Little Anthony and the Imperials is in the lead with $300 of my money. Jimmy, what's our new category? He's so much younger than I would have imagined. Yes. New category is Big Zeros You Haven't Dated. And uh, Gila, you had the last correct answer, so you get to pick first. Big Zeros You Haven't Dated. $100 question What is the two word term used to describe the point of detonation for a nuclear weapon? Anthony. Ground zero. Very good, Anthony. Very good. $50 follow-up. What three-word term describes maintaining a constant population by keeping the birth rate equal to the death rate? Zero population growth. Very good. Very good. Hard to time it out, though. Our next category. Rotten to the Korea. And Anthony, you get to choose. Things that don't grow during sex. Hmm. $50 question. What diminutive sex therapist and author of the 1994 Encyclopedia of Sex holds a doctorate in education, not in psychology? Gila. Dr. Ruth Westheimer? Exactly right. You got it. $50 follow-up. Name the diminutive late actor who played the character Tattoo on Fantasy Island. Herb Villachez. Very good. Very good. They buried him in a cigar box. Our next category is white guys in the MBA and Gila. You get to um, I'll take the first use of presidential knee pads. $150 question. What sports-oriented program designed to get gangs off the street was part of the $76 million 1994 crime bill? Gila. Midnight basketball. Very good, Gila. Very good. <laughs> $50 follow-up. In professional basketball, how high is the basket from the ground? Ten feet. Very good. <laughs> Whoa. Our new category upward. is, hey, can I bum a Cignet? And uh, we have less than two minutes left in the round. Gila. Hey, can I bum a Cignet? $100 question. What kind of baby bird is called a Cignet? Nancy. A swan. Very good. Very good. $50 follow-up. What is a young goose called? Gosling. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Nancy, our next category, Chicken Soup for the Soul starts with a laughing stock. And uh, Nancy, you go. Chicken Soup for the Soul starts with a laughing stock. $150 question. What Saturday Review editor-in-chief wrote Anatomy of an Illness, which explored the healing powers of laughter? Gila. Norman Cousins. Whoa, very good. <laughs> $50, $50 follow-up. The Just for Laughs International Comedy Festival takes place in what Canadian city? Montreal. Very good, my oh, yeah. God. This one is red hot. He is four American. Red hot. You know what? Our next category is I wouldn't be caught dead wearing minky and gila. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing minky. $100 question. In defiance of a 1985 international ban on commercial whaling, what Scandinavian country resumed hunting the minke whale in 1993? Nancy. Norway. Yes, Norway indeed. Very good. Very good. And that is the end of the first round. Congratulations to Gila. You've got $550 of Ben Stein's money. Anthony, you've taken $450 away from Ben. Sorry, Nancy. That means you're the unlucky one that has to go. Oh, Nancy, I'm sorry. You've been a fine competitor, but you've only managed to take 250 I know it's sad. You've only managed to take $250 away from me, and that means we have to say goodbye. 
and I'm just going to take this money and sort of flick it like a child flicking a booger up there to the board. And now when we come back, these two survivors are going to try to get deeper into my wallet, and I will defend my money by actually becoming a contestant. Stay tuned. You might learn something. I would. I could I use some cake. so, too. Welcome back. As this round begins, Gila has $550 of my money. Wow. Anthony has $450, also quite a bit. And I have a mere $4,000 remaining of my original $5,000 stake, which I will now defend by becoming a common contestant like any other. From this point forward, Ben has no advanced knowledge of any of the questions to be asked. Isn't that right, Ben? I'm sorry to say that it's entirely correct, and I'm also really sorry to say that questions in this round have risen to the range of $200 to $500 worth of my money. That's if you boys and girls get them right. If I get them right, my total stays the same, but thankfully none of my money is taken away. Look at her looking so shy when she's like a murdering question-answering yes. gal. Will Anthony, who lives in the desert, be able to fend off the Gila monster? <laughs> we'll find out. Hey, As they go one-on-one -on -one against Ben, if they pass this round to get his $5,000, let's check out our topics. They are magazines Ben would never be on the cover of besides Playgirl. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the wraith. From ear to eternity. Amateur and pro coffee -ev. With friends like these, who needs enemas? And Ben, it's your money. So you I'll get try to pick first. Magazine, I'll try magazines that Ben would never be on the cover of besides Playgirl. For $400, what American leftist political magazine is edited by Victor Novosky? Ben? The Nation. The Nation, right. That's a commie rag, isn't it? You said it, not me. All right, our next category. Are you my mother, or am I just doing really well with you? Ben. Uh, I like that one. I'll try that one. For $500 one. of Ben's oh money. Oh, my gosh. In Oedipus Rex, what was the name of Oedipus's wife and mother? Ben? Jocasta. That's right. Wow. Jocasta was out of him. New category, Baskin on the You'll Beach. Do. And uh, Ben again. I'll try Baskin on the Beach. For $300, Ooh. what bay was named for the Basques who live along part of its southern shore? Ben? Bay of Biscay. Yep, that's the bay, all right. He's fast with the thumb. He works the thumb out. Our next category. I ate 14 carrots, and now I'm passing gold nuggets. <laughs> Ben? I'll try. I ate 14 carrots, and now I'm passing Golden Nuggets. For $200, in 1993, the daughter of what Las Vegas Golden Nugget casino owner was kidnapped and held for a $1.4 million ransom? Ben? Steve Wynn. Yeah, Steve Wynn's the guy. He paid it in rolls of nickel. Anthony, Gila, you guys okay there? All right. Our next category is sorry, but my jockey's riding up on me. I'll try from ear to eternity. All right. For $300, Ooh. what are the common names of the three tiny bones that connect the eardrum to the middle ear? Ben? Cochlea. No, no. Gila? The hammer, the stirrup, and the drum. No, no. Anthony? The hammer, the states, and the stirrup. No, that's not it. The hammer, the anvil, and stirrup, or the malleus, incus, or stapes is what we're looking for. Oh, that's what I was going to get. Yeah. Okay. No, it's like a lot of crap going on in the ear. Okay. That's why you got to be careful with the Q-tip. Our next category is, and you thought running in heels was tough. And Ben has control. I'll try slow and steady wins the race. For $400, what term for ghostly twin has its origins in the German word for double? Ben? Doppelganger. <laughs> yes. uh, you are destroying these kids. <laughs> yes. Doppelganger. They'll be fine. You gotta jump on it. Jump on it. You know, we have less than a minute left in the round. Our new category is Stand on your own two fates. And Ben. I'll try that. All right. For four hundred dollars, what English morality play, anonymously written in the late fifteenth century, is an allegory of death and the fate of the soul? Gila? Every man? Every man, yeah. Very good, very good. Very good. Hey, they got some of your money. I know, I can't Our believe it. Next category. 
don't know much about Italy. And, hey, Gila, you get to pick. Amateur and Prokofiev. All right, for $300, name Sergei Prokofiev's 1936 orchestral fairy tale in which instruments personify human and animal characters. Anthony. Peter and the Wolf. Yes, that's right, Anthony. Oh, unfortunately, no, that sound means the round is over, and Gila has won $950 in Einstein's money. She's moving on, and... Anthony, it's back to the trailer in Victorville for you, I'm afraid. Anthony, you played a hell of a game. A hell of a game. I could just see you taking all that money and bringing it back to your bank, but I'm afraid you are just going to have to content yourself with going back there knowing you did a good job well done. Your history now, I take the $750, and I pass it under my leg, dribble under there, and then shoot it over there, and there it is. And now, when we come back, we're going to see... How Gila matches up with me when the big money is on the line. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss it. The extreme Dan Stein's money. Congratulations, Gila. You've played magnificently, and now it's just me versus just you. So far, you've taken $950 away from me. That's yours to keep no matter what happens, but now you have a chance, albeit a small one, maybe not that small, to walk out of here with all $5,000 of my cash. The Jimmy is now really encourages in this safe. All you have to do is beat me in the best of ten tests of knowledge. Could you explain it to everyone, please, Jimmy? Oh, rule schmooze. What do you say when the three of us get naked and wrestle? Okay. <laughs> No? All right. I'm going to ask Ben and Gila the same ten questions. Gila, if you can answer more of them than Ben can, his $5,000 will be oh, yours. Can you go first or second? I would like to go first, please. Oh. Very good, Gila. Please, to the booth. Ben, to your deluxe isolation booth. All right, Gila. You do much wrestling there in Yellow Springs, Ohio? <laughs> Not much. Not much? All right. Well, now's the time to start. You have 60 <laughs> seconds to answer ten questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's begin. What civil rights activist did J. Edgar Hoover call the most notorious liar Martin Luther in the country? King. Yes. In what mountain range did the llama originate? Pyrenees. No. What composer wrote the Three Penny Opera? Um, Jacques Brel. No. What biblical city's walls came down when the Israelites blew their horns? Sodom and Gomorrah. No. Name the three musketeers who befriended D'Artagnan. Porthos, Athos, and Aramis. Yes. In what ocean is Christmas Island located? The Indian Ocean. Yes. What mostly red stone is the birthstone for July? The ruby. Yes. Oxheart and Bing are varieties of what Cherries. food? Cherries. Yes. In U.S. police departments, what officer ranks directly below the captain? The sergeant. No. 640 acres is the equivalent of how many square miles? Ten. No. The answer is one. Oh. You got five correct. The other ones you missed were lieutenant. Uh, Jericho is where the walls came down. Kurt Vile and uh, the Andes was where the llama came to us from. All right, let's see what Ben can do. Ben? Yes, sir. All of Yellow Springs, Ohio is rooting against you now. Well, that's a problem, but I, I shall try my best anyway. All right, 60 seconds, 10 questions. The number you have to beat is five. Shall do it, if I can. Okay, let's begin. What civil rights activist did J. Edgar Hoover call the most notorious liar in the country? Martin Luther King, Jr. Yes. In what mountain range did the llama originate? Himalayas. No. What composer wrote the Three Penny Opera? Uh, uh, Bertolt Brecht. No. What biblical city's walls came down when the Israelites blew their horns? Uh, uh, Jericho. Yes. Name the three musketeers who befriended D'Artagnan. Athos, Porthos, and Aramis. Yes. In what ocean is Christmas Island located? Uh, uh, Pacific Ocean. No. What mostly red stone is the birthstone for July? Ruby. Yes. Oxheart and Bing are varieties of what fruit? Cherries. Yes. In the U in U.S. police departments, what officer ranks directly below the captain? Um, sergeant. No. 640 acres is the equivalent of how many square miles? One. One is absolutely right, Ben. You got six, and you have one. Well, not one, but you keep your money. Who did write the Three Penny Opera if not Bertolt Brecht? Don't, 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 it was Weil and Brecht. I mean, right. come on. Just Weil, though. Well, what did Brecht write? He was just whacking it. <laughs> no, I think 
Brad Brad. But anyway, Gila, I'm very relieved you did not get my five thousand dollars. However, I am humbled that you're going to be walking out of here with nine hundred and fifty dollars of my money. $4,050. I'm going to use it to take on my next opponent. It could be those three girls in the front row. It could be those men in the back row. It could be anybody out there. So I challenge all of you out there to write, call, or email to futility.com in the hope, infinite test falls, it might be that on some planet, on some distant day, you might win Ben Stein's money.